<laughs> um, what's so funny? <laughs> it's just funny, man. Just seeing you with the. I, I don't know, man. You just make water. me laugh. You're funny. Like you actually make me laugh. <laughs> Do you know why? Because I buy water. No, no. Because I think of you like in random scenarios and shit, and it's just hilarious. Like I can just picture this guy like you know at a car yard, like losing his shit at someone for like you know free tinted windows. And I can just see you either at like a checkout, like just. Cracking the shits or like getting a bill. It's like, I, I got my mail yesterday and I caught my neighbors like as I was coming back in. And I was just holding like a bunch of mail because I never checked my mail. And I was looking at it and I actually said to him the same thing I said to you guys. And I tweeted, said, I'm at that point in my life where all registered mail is bad news. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the, and I was actually looking at the stack and I just had this like really grim feeling like, oh my God. What now? <laughs> one thing, yeah, there was one thing that was cool, which was a Christmas card from my sister and I had my nephew like on the card. I'm like, huh, okay. Something nice. <laughs> a little, little ray of sunshine in amongst <laughs> this. <laughs> Throws them on the table. Yeah, just like, man, I, I throw them out, dude. I get letters from the bank. I just throw them out. I can't yeah. be bothered. Mm. It's either telling me that my credit card's maxed out again. Like, yeah, I know that. I haven't opened up letters in Some ages. guys are coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Final warning, last warning, some guys are coming. Some guys are coming. <laughs> Literally on imprint, some guys are coming. <laughs> Signed, you know, like, one day, you're just going to open the door and there'll be a dude in, like, overalls, and there'll be another dude behind him wearing a leather jacket, putting on, like, the leather gloves, and, like, so how do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, babe, I've got, I got to go away for a while. <laughs> So is it going to be a finger or a toe? <laughs> Remember how I told you that day might come? It's come. It's <laughs> just a dude putting on the gloves. He's my ATM card. He's my... Uh, go tell hide the little, it. Go bury it in the backyard. Yeah, tell the little one I love her. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it's going to go down. I'll send for you. <laughs> Speak, Matt. Last, wait, wait for me. Last days. Did you see... This always comes up as well. It, it was in the news again. It's the same thing like the fucking... Um, what did I say last time? Every year, there's uh, every year there's always a woman selling her virginity, and it yeah, always yeah, comes yeah, a thing. Yeah. This is another thing that always becomes something every single year: <laughs> lethal execution in the states. Euthanasia, yeah, like no, 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 not euthanasia. Uh, that comes up. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. And they're petitioning now. Yeah. There's a state that's going to legalize it. Apparently, yeah, yeah. You let yourself go if you've had enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a good one. Um, the, the the other thing that keeps coming up is someone gets put to death in the states, like in a um, prison. And they have, and they say it's inhumane because they seem to be struggling in their last minute before breath. Do you, do you have you read about it? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, yeah. There yeah. was one that came up the other day. And I just went, oh my yeah. god, some dude like brutally murdered some guy after thirty years or whatever living in prison. They finally put him to death with lethal injection, and apparently he he wait he coughed, twitched, <laughs> he twitched, and he was heaving a bit, and his breathing seemed a bit laboured. Oh, that seems like the least he should cop. <laughs> It's is it just me? No. Is it just me? No. Dude, I'm with you. Make that pig suffer. Dude, Dude. there should be something in the drug that makes him suffer more. Dude, <laughs> that's the easy way out. Yeah. Seriously, think about it, man. These why, idiots, are people, why are people defending that creep? Like, why? These pro-lifers and fucking vegans. <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiots. And vegans in. <laughs> just throw them into the pot, <laughs> into, the, into the mob. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be against They're it. They're defending this guy who brutally murdered someone, yeah. has lived 30 years tax-free in a prison system, right, with a bed, and cause it's, uh, because it's because he's a uh, high risk or whatever. He's, he's insult as in by himself. Yeah, he's in by himself. He's got an apartment. He's got Julian no, Knight. Yeah. Julian Knight was in the paper. I'm pretty sure it was yeah. Julian Knight or one of the, some dude, some Australian mm. dude. He was in the paper last week, and he's talking about how prison life actually isn't that bad, considering... Yeah. Like, at the cell where, where, he's, where he's at. Well, think about it, man. Like, they get fed. He said he's more or less got, like, a three-bedroom He's got like a three bedroom apartment. Basically, he's got his his block. You know, like yeah, he yeah. said, bed, yeah. little kitchenette, kettle. TV, kettle, all that shit. Yeah. He goes, and then the back opens up to the yard. Well, he's got, like, a yard, and that's open for how many hours yeah. a day. And then to the front is, like, a social area. Yeah. Goes, Dude, I haven't got that. 
All right, boys, time to go to prison. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, right? This was an Aussie dude. This right. was last week or this week, yeah? Aussie prisons are different, though. They, they're much better than yeah. ones overseas. Yeah, no, we care about our prisoners, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. But in the States, yeah, they, they get rolled up. Every year there's someone that gets put to death for some fucking horrific crime. And they pick it outside the front yeah. of the prison. It's it's inhumane. He was it was it's like torture. Was like, it was it inhumane when he killed that person? Was it you know when he slaughtered the you know you, the mother with two kids then or whatever? You've got or? The right to die um thing, like the euthanasia thing, like you yeah. were saying before. Do you reckon that's a viable thing? I heard on the radio in Australia they're reviewing it. They're going to like think about lifting the ban on it. Like if you're terminally ill, if you're like, not 99 years old, completely fucked in pain, you should be able to fucking go if you want to go. Because if you're terminally ill and you're suffering... Yeah, man. It's I'm your not, I'm choice. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying if you're just like, oh, yeah, whatever, like, just jab me, I'm good, I'm, <laughs> I'm just ready to go. But if, yeah. you're, if you're really ill and you're, like, just in dying and in pain... pain yeah. And your, parent, your, your family's watching you just in yeah, agony all day. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, yeah it I'm, seems more horrible to keep them alive yeah. they, if they don't want to be. Let's just keep jabbing them with yeah. drugs. And they're looking at you saying... Kill me. Finish me off yeah, because, because I can't, I do, can't do it anymore. We yeah. humanely, like, there are animals, dude, that we, like, the vet will literally say, I think we should put him to sleep. Yeah. Why do we. For fuck's sake, like, the roux. The yeah. fucking roux. Yeah. Everyone's picketing for this roux because the roux yeah. got punched in the face. They culled how many? Yeah. They're picketing for the roux. They would never pick it if, like, it was a dude getting mauled, right? They would never pick it for that shit. Okay? Like, co- the noise, dude, every time uh, an Aboriginal youth. Or someone gets fucking bashed to death by a cop. Yeah. They'll never hold a royal commission for that. Pauline Hansen mentioned something about Islam. There's a royal commission. Right? A roux gets punched in the face. Everyone's picketing or raising, just even raising the conversation, wasting time and money, saying, yeah, we should uh, investigate and see if it... Dude, there's a, a, a guy that's got fucking some debilitating disease, spent, you know, the better part of his last decade in a fucking wheelchair because he can't move, he's in that much pain. Nah, we we need to keep him alive as long as possible. Nah, sorry. At, we, the, cost, we... at the cost of the family. Yeah. But you, th- but a vet will, like, actively tell you... That sometimes, dude, you go take your dog in to get looked at, and he comes out, he's like, sorry, we have to put him away. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, mm. no choice. Mm. No last words. Like, nah. It was just, boop, jab, 85 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why is this country so backwards where we're are, looking after... People yeah. are fucking weird, dude. But humans are second rate. Yeah, second rate to the animals. Yeah. Second rate to the animals? Humans fall behind in every every category, man. To the weather, to erosion, to the soil. Yeah, which you know Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> shit. No shit. No shit. <laughs> we built this we built this city. We built everything here. But we are second place to everything. Got here because we ate animals and killed animals <laughs> and, and <laughs> prospered and now it's like nah. Nah. Fall in line, cunts. You are nothing. You are second fiddle to the dog, my friend. Dude, if it was <clears> up to <throat> half of these environmentalists or activists or whatever, the planet would be empty yeah, and we'd empty. all be dead. Yeah. We'd all be dead yeah. because we weren't allowed to eat food anymore <laughs> or breathe the oxygen <laughs> or do anything fun. Yeah. You know, like, nah. I, 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 I don't know. Am I imagining it? Like, is this what it's come to? No, man. I feel like it's going to be that way eventually. <laughs> it's, mm. You know what it is? All this shit. It leads to something that I was going to bring up. Uh, you know, we were talking about golf being is in the Olympics, yeah? Like, you were overseas. Mm. I remember Arthur and I, it's one of my favourite things that we've talked about, man. Golf, right? Being in the Olympics. There are so many stupid sports in the Olympics, yeah? Do you know what the latest one is up for review? In 2020 or whatever it is? Do you know what the latest sport? Sport. Tell me. I, I can't hope- believe you, haven't got, you guys haven't seen it. I hope it's not something you need to mock that I think would be a good sport in the Olympics. No. Nah. What is it? No, nah, even you would say, no, nah, no chance. Because I have a sport I feel should be in the Olympics, which is, it's just phenomenal. Vi- but anyway, go on, what is it? <laughs> Video games. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nah>. FIFA. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> soccer is fighting for its right in the Olympics. <laughs> Didn't soccer get taken out? I don't think there is soccer in the yeah, Olympics there is, anymore. There is, there is. is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. There was another sport yeah. that got taken out, but yeah, right? Cheerleading. Oh. I'm not even joking. That's disgusting. <laughs> cheerleading is now fighting for a place in 2020. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's straight up ridiculous. Let's not. Let's take out the athletes. Give me an A. Dude, let's take out the athletes that compete. Let's put in the supporters that support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And motivate. The young sluts that motivate. Let's put them in. I swear to God. That's the latest one. And there's this uproar. Like, half the people are saying it's ridiculous. And then it's like, no, cheerleading is a, is a legitimate sport. Well, I have a sport that would 
be a lot of a better idea than that. Skateboarding. Yeah. There's more skill in skateboarding. Like, I'm a big fan of skateboarding, and lately, because of Instagram, I've been, like, just subscribed to, like, a bunch of skating... I watch skating videos all day. Yeah. All day. Like, there is so much skill involved in skateboarding, man. Like, it's ridiculous. But they had this argument, because they want UFC to be in... Oh, they're pushing for UFC, or they're pushing for Taekwondo. Like, I think Taekwondo got kicked out of the Olympics. Mm, I think I heard that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a skill. Like, Taekwondo kicked out of the Olympics. They, they were fighting to keep Greco-Roman wrestling in, or it's out. I'm not sure. That but should that, be in that's there. the wrestling, oldest sport. Wrestling should be in there, man. I love wrestling. It Dude, wrestling be. was at the first Olympics because of its relevance. You know what I mean? But it's, it's, a, it's a great sport. It's like a test of strength. Like two strength, men go in, strength and, and just, Yeah, there's, you know, no, there's no violent eye gouging. It's all <laughs> tactical maneuvering and body weight and, you know, judo. I think judo got thrown <laughs> out. Judo got thrown out. Yeah. So they got rid of judo. Let me, let me have a look. But they'll basically... So, there was this whole article on it. I was reading about it. There's a few of them. And they were saying about how completely biased and just... It's just high contrasting events with the Olympics. Like they'll have, they'll throw judo out because it's non-relevant, and they'll argue with you know muay thai or kickboxing, whatever it is. But they'll they'll bring cheerleading, cheerleading in as a, as a, a something to discuss. Dude, cheerleaders were fans and spectators at every sport. Now they're going to be the sport. So then, who cheers the cheerleaders or the thrown out judo dudes <laughs> standing there with pom poms? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All the guys that got kicked out of... Uh, <laughs> is it hockey? There's like all these sports, that legitimate sports, man, that got booted out of the Olympics to make way for shit like, you know, cheerleading. Well, they're saying here for Tokyo 2020 <laughs> uh, and 2024, these are coming back in. Rest- <laughs> Look at his face. Re- re- <laughs> wrestling. Is back is it- in. Back in. So why was it out? That's uh, good. Why'd they ever take that out? Baseball. Oh, I like baseball, but it shouldn't be in the Olympics. Climbing. Climbing. Uh, <laughs> climbing. Softball. Softball uh, and baseball. Okay. Karate. 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 I, I love that they bring it for Tokyo. Yeah, yeah that's why. I'm, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Roller sport. Because they're going to guarantee Japan a gold medal. Roller sport. That's, that's all it says. What the hell is roller sport? I, I don't know. I'm picturing that um, Dean Kane movie. What was that DK movie? Roller, roller. Uh, oh, was DK the Derby? The the, the, roller, the the roller girls, the, the, no, the, no, no, the no. chicks that compete, right? No, 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 no. no. Wakeboarding, dude. There's a DK movie. It always used to be on TV when we were kids, like every Saturday night at like nine thirty on Channel Seven. What? <laughs> I don't even remember it. It's. <laughs> Well, Dean Kane used to roll around in a roller Dude, sport. I'm telling you, I'm not even joking. Because I was thinking the same as Nick, Whip. I think it's called Whip, Whip it or something. No, 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 Yeah, they go around the room and they bash each other. They kind of dikey. I got this, hang on, I got this. Oh, where is it? Was it a Dean Kane movie? Sure, it was an episode of Ripley's where he was like explaining something about rollerblades or something. Nah, it was one of those Dean Kane actors, man. It was back in the... D- oh. one, of those, one of those daytime has-beens, is that what you're talking about? Shit. Thunder... Oh, what was it called? Thunderdome. It wasn't Thunderdome. Isn't that Tom Cruise? Nah, man. Oh, no, it's Days of Thunder. Is yeah. that right? Days of Thunder? Uh, where he rides a car? Days of Thunder? Is that Tom Cruise? The one where he's in the car with Nicole Kidman? Oh, dude, I, ca- I love that fucking movie. Days of Thunder, right? Days That's of Thunder, man. Yeah, yeah, man. No, no, not Days of Thunder. Dude, I'm not bagging. I was my just... double feature is Top Gun and Days of Thunder. <laughs> oh, the Tom Cruise double. Oh, man. I like a bit of Cruise, That's yeah? the only movies I watch him in. And maybe Cocktail. <laughs> 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 I can see Nick sliding out in his jocks. Cocktail? Coming into the lounge Tom room. Cruise, Tom Cruise has done some decent movies, man. Yeah, like, he's done all right. He's, a, he's an idiot. I, I, I don't like, like him personally because I just... I just I don't hate him. I just like whatever. He seems like an absolute creepo weirdo, but I do like his movies. I think he's good. Uh, the one movie I'm thinking of, it's like Ro- Rollerball. Remember Rollerball with Chris Klein and LL Cool J? Oh, man. I don't remember Rollerball. <sighs> really? What? Huh? It was... Um, okay, here. Basically, the movie... Uh, hang on. <laughs> Who did you think the Dean Kane character there's was? A, there's a movie like Rollerball, which is older. And it's... um, Shit. You remember... Oh, fucking hell, man. It was it was a flop of a movie, man. Like, come on. LL Cool J and Chris Klein. Oh, yeah. That tells, <laughs> you, that tells you what you need to know. Dystopian society. Uh, the new sport of rollerball becomes a hugely popular in Central oh, Asia. Oh, the original with fucking Harrison Ford. 
right? That's the original, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There's that. Yeah. Dude, do you know what Rollerball has? Dude, there's cameos, right? <laughs> Listen to these cameos, man. Pink and Slipknot and Shane McMahon. <laughs> what? I'm even joking. The Motley Crew. <laughs> yeah, man. It's actually got a really cool song, Shane Boom, by our PAD. Boom, here comes the boom, ready, ready or not. not. How you like me now? I used to play the boys from the gully. Dude, 2003, I used to play a mate of mine in, um, we used to play, what did we play? NHL, like, 90, uh, 2003 or whatever. And every, like, you, we play online, so it was just me versus him online. And, um, you, we couldn't talk, like, there was no mics, but you'd have preset commands you could press every time you scored or something. Yeah, like and a toy. I typed in, boom, here comes that, so you could just hammer it every time I kick a, hit, a, hit a goal. Such a troll, such a gaming troll. Yeah, man. Um, so, did we figure out what Rollerball is? There was the a Olympics, movie from, like, the, Olympics, like the late 90s or Roller something, sports. like Rollerball, but it had, like, Dean Kane. I'm and there's another like one of those actors. Like there's one of those another sport called Wushu. Of course, they bring it in for Tokyo. Wushu. That's yeah. just a martial art. Yeah, but they bring in karate wushu. Like wushu so is the, the martial art in uh, Fearless with Jet Lee, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So they're saying here, Olympic sport, no, but recognised by the IOC. So they're th- thinking about bringing it in. Okay. Um, so what do you want to look up? Ah, roller sport. Like what kind of roller sport is it? They want roller sport in general. Yeah, just roller sport. It just sport. says roller sport. Get the cones out. Just start doing tricks. Roller Is sports the- are sports that human-powered vehicles are used rolling either by gravity or pushing techniques. So what does that mean? Uh, what can I Push cart with- races? No, I have no idea. Okay, so is that the whole list? Is that the comprehensive list? Yeah. So what's been taken out? Can you get a list of what's been taken out for 2020? Yes, I can. Okay. Keep going, boys. I, I do gonna- shit. Dude, like- skateboarding, man. Oh, my God. Those cunts are amazing. Uh, you, know, you know what's weird about skateboarding as well? Like, I've watched so many videos where guys, have been like, removed. they will, like, skate along the rooftop of a building and just ollie off and land, right? Oh, yeah. But there is no way known that if you didn't have your skateboard that you would just jump off that roof. You know oh, what I mean? as in, like, if you, ju- if you just jumped If you just that- jumped off that roof, like, no one would even think of doing it and you'd probably break your leg. But these dudes that have skateboards just are happily just to jump off one Yeah, off the- you know why? Because you use inertia, inertia. Yeah, and, inertia, um, but, like, it's just, yeah. you have this Because it's thin- momentum. You have this little thin board and that's enough to just make you... Yeah, but do you know what that... It's just crazy. No, I mean, my mate was sitting the, there the, the physics it. behind it is insane. Dude. And it's like the, um, you know, it's like, it's like the parkour guys, yeah? Yeah. They, like, scale up buildings just mm. using inertia. And then they vault off a building into a cannonball roll. That, did you see the latest one, the viral no, one? No, Where no, a no. kid goes over the over... Oh, anyway. Yeah. No, so, I haven't yeah. seen it. Cricket. That was a sport. Cricket. No more. <laughs> Cricket. Uh, In the Olympics. Pelota. What's that? I don't know. Polo. Isn't croquet... Isn't polo just croquet on horses? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Roger! <laughs> it's just the same team! Mother shot! A sport called... A sport called... <laughs> rack- <laughs> Good show, old chap. <laughs> well done. Give it you put the ball, the ball in the hole beautifully. Dude, they don't have, they don't have like a, a buzzer for like half time. Just yeah, yeah it's just um, tea break. Apparently, tug of war was a sport in Olympics. <laughs> um, dude, lac- I would just, win that. Dude, lac- lac- tug of war. I would just, I would fly over to Fiji, Samoa. You know, just start picking up a boat of Polynesians. Like, alright, boys, you're playing for me. <laughs> but I can't live in Australia. One, yeah. one condition. <laughs> You gotta pull this big rope really <laughs> hard. This, what, bro? <laughs> this massive cousin well, saying yank yeah, in the rope. Baseball and softball as well, but they're gonna bring it in for Tokyo because the Japanese yeah, love the Japanese their bar. Love Japanese love baseball. Uh, yeah. Motorboating? Are you joking? Motorboating. <laughs> 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 I'd win that. <laughs> <laughs> that is, alright. What, man on man competition? Yeah. <laughs> Which is nestled in in some guy's pecs. Yeah. Some big Norwegian's pecs. <laughs> um, and lacrosse. Some oiled up Norwegian. Lacrosse. Lacrosse would have been cool, man. Lacrosse would have been... Those guys are dangerous, man. Lacrosse is a dangerous sport, man. You cop one of those things to the head. Can you tackle in lacrosse? I don't think you can. I've seen some highlights, man. Where, no, you I, can I, hip I, and shoulder hard. Hip and shoulders? Yeah, like we're talking... I've sort of... Actually... Ha! Ah, saw a video yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, ah. saw, a, saw a video yesterday. Are we in full circle? Yes. Yes. I saw a video yesterday of lacrosse, like a minute clip, and this guy took this guy out hard, man, with the ball. <laughs> I swear he hip and shouldered him so hard into the stands. Yeah. It was crazy. It was... Oh, I love it. Do you it. know what, man? <laughs> that actually brings me to my, la- my uh, point I was actually I was going to tell you about. I played my first game of basketball last Thursday. Ah, how'd you go? How'd it go? Wait, as in a, in a team? Yeah. Ooh. Then we started a team. Some uh, Tommy, for, uh, the rookie from work, like we started a team. And um, it's just made up of like a motley crew, man. Like my mate Jose from uh, indoor, 
Eddie, you know Eddie from work, big tall Eddie, Colombian Eddie. We call him a Ravenga. <laughs> Eddie from work. Yeah, big tall dude, man. Like big, big dude. I don't know. You wouldn't have seen him now because he, uh, he suffered himself a, a, a mishap. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Twisted ankle, dude. Do you want to hear the most disgusting thing I've ever seen? Because all right, look this way, man. We're a sports mad nation. Yeah. I mean, yes, we are yes, sports we are. mad. We love it. Sports capital, I believe. Yep. Like we, can, we love competing. We love participating. We love spectating. We love, are all we love on winning. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we love winning. <laughs> all right. All three of I us. Have to win. Okay. Can I say this with confidence? All three of us have played basketball. We know the rules. Absolutely. We've competed. We've spectated. Like, you know. Like, we've all dunked it. Yep. Yeah. We've all seen it. Yeah. All right. I played my first game of basketball, man, like competitively, right? Since I think I was like 15 or something when I did my yeah. knee and I started making music, yeah? <sighs> Man, I'm ready to burn the entire, like, district of uh, Knox. Yeah. We played in Knox, right? Yeah, my old hood, my, where I used to play. At the, at the arena where they have, like, eight courts. There's, uh, there's two stadiums in Knox now. There's Knox State and there's Knox something else. Okay. Yeah, oh, actually, league... no, it was in Baronia, I think. Well, they're all the, up that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Dude... I need your opinion on. I need your call. Both is. I need your call on this because you're both educated, right? On, on the um, topic. <sighs> get this, man. We started pl- like we get on the court, okay? St- we start playing. Fouls just get stuck getting called left and right, right? I'm talking mm-hmm. like just for touching the ball out mm-hmm. of someone's hands. Foul, foul, foul. Like to the point, like w- there was no play for the first ten minutes. We were already up. Uh, like we had six, seven team fouls in the yeah. first like. Literally, first six minutes. Like, yeah. Ludicrous, yeah? <laughs> all right. Eventually, all right, we got to, we made it to, I think we made it to half time. I don't even remember if we did, right? But we're getting teched. We're getting, like, it, it, it was so fucked up, right? It was so fucked up. Was it happening to the other team as well? Like, it both no. sides? Oh. No, 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 no. Just, just us, yeah? All right? <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, it was fucked, okay? Mind you, Eddie, right? He's played in NBA. He's played in the NBL. The guy's forty-one, I think, mm. and he's been playing since he was like f- eleven. He's played like nationally, like on a state level, on a national level. He's th- ridiculous, right? Mm. R- uh, the rookie man, he coached for a while. I coached when I was in high school. Mm. We have got a ref. One of the players on our team was a ref. At so some we're talking. Point. You we've guys know your shit. We've all played, yeah. yeah? Dude, we got. Um, I called a timeout in the end because it was just a joke. I think maybe we didn't even make it to halftime. I just called a timeout. Like this is fucked. Yeah. Man, get this. I'm not going to go into the actual refing, like tearing that apart yet. Get this for a, for a ludicrous situation, right? <laughs> I got tech fouled. I got I got tech fouled twice. Ended up getting ejected from the game. Oh, right? because after two tech fouls, you get ejected. Like outright. take a walk, dude. Have you ever heard of that? Two tech fouls and you're, you're booted from the stadium. No, I never have. Okay, it gets better. Okay, guess what I got tech fouled for. Because I had to think about the first one. The second one caused me to like literally just tell the other team their bench that you're all a joke. And then I told the supervising referee, like there was some ref supervisor, who wasn't active in the game, but just watching mm. us. I told He's like, you better settle down, you're going to get reported. I said, do you think I give a fuck? And I turned around, told everyone, I go, you're all fucked, this is a joke, I'm out of here. Easy. Right? And I was going off to deal with something else. And that something else is a big fucking thing. Which I need your like opinion on, okay? Take a guess what I got tech fouled for. I'll give you this is the this is like the funniest part of the story. Not the scariest part, this is the funniest, saddest part. Okay? Swearing in Greek. Nah. I did that. I start I was swearing in English and then yeah. I got I warned about that. So I started swearing in Greek. Waving someone off, like just whatever, man. Dude, I went I was running for a loose ball under the ring. Yeah. I dove for the ball and as I grabbed it, I actually like I slammed it sort of de- like as in I Pushed it out of bounds, you know, as I've gone to try and catch it. And when I stood up, I went, ah, and I like, I sort of threw it down on my feet, you know, like, oh, mm, whatever. Just self angry a little yeah, bit, like, like damn you, off. Yeah. yeah. And one of their clowns was like, oh, who are you throwing that to, mate? Like, I'm like, I turned around, looked at him, and I went, what? Technical, you're off. Because that was my fucking second. fucking serious? Dude, you got a technical for that? That was the second. And as I, I only remembered why I got tech foul the first time, the next day, when someone asked me, so what were your two tech fouls for? Because that was one of them, yeah? I got tech for that. I'm looking at it like, are you out of your mind? I've never heard Just of that. Just be like throwing the basketball and damn. Yeah. Like as in, t- like, yeah. bangs. Yeah. All right. That was a tech. Do you know what the first one was for? <laughs> I was, there's a rule that you have, your sub, your bench players has to work the scoreboard as in like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, each half, it could switches or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was working the scoreboard and then Jose or someone 
pulled a foul and he's like cracked. He's just like, fuck, like what? Like, what have I done now? You know, like, like yeah. in frustration. This was after like five team fouls. I started laughing from the sidelines. You got a text I was that. writing the scoreboard and I started laughing at the ludicrousness of the like the Dude, ref thing. They had it in for you. Yeah, the word the, the, I was laughing. You know I'm like, why? You were, you were ethnics. I was laughing. Hang on, I'll get to that. I was laughing my fucking head off, right, and just like cackling. Like I couldn't stop laughing. It was that funny? I can picture it. Yes. Second ref just shh, technical. Like I didn't even know what the misdemeanor was. And I'm like, what? I I had to physically punch a foul in on the scoreboard. For yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm not even joking. Dude, Eddie, our center, the guy's like six foot five. He was a meter taller than their center. Like, he was taller than. He got fouled. He, he pulled a defensive foul while going for his own rebound offensively with his hands above his head. That makes sense. So, it's pretty much impossible to foul someone. <laughs> so, he, he took a, yeah. a layup, missed... Jumped up with his hands above his head to grab his own rebound and try and tip it back yeah, in. Foul, foul. <laughs> foul, defensive rebound on him. Dude, nah, they had it in for you guys. Is it? Something was going on there, okay, man. That's this, not... is the better, this is the best part. Was the ref there, mates? This was, is the was scariest the, was part. Was the other team all white? I'm going I'm to get to that, all right? <laughs> like I'm going to make two points. I'm going to make two points here, okay? Victor, okay? Uh, Liberian kid yeah, from work, yeah. plays a lot of ball, right? A lot of boys. He's, he's a brilliant player. He plays competitively, plays street stuff. I was with him down in Oval yesterday with all the Africans playing, right? Two, I was telling, because he's meant to be playing for us as well, but he didn't rock up that night. I was telling him what happened. He's like, was it team white, man? I go, yeah, actually they were. Everyone was white. He goes, Knox, man, what do you expect? Yeah, man. We were the only, like, mixed up team in the world. A Colombian, three Greeks, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 what's it called? A Filipino, right? Get this. This is the most fucked up part. Eddie. Off the ball, right? So, like, he's gone for a layup or whatever. Off the ball. Like, the ball's been thrown down court, so we're running defensively. All of a sudden, he just screams. We all turn around. He's on the ground. Big dude, weighs like 120 kilos. Yeah. You know what I mean? On the ground, screaming. Done his, uh, his ankle, huh. right? Couldn't get up. And we've all just walked off the mark. Like, fuck this. We've walked over there. Like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what happened? It's like, fuck. You know, my ankle. I'm fucked. Like, I'm, I'm fucked. It was like he's dead. Like, he was delirious because he just, yeah. like, shock. You know, when you do an, like, you know, when you do a yeah, major yeah. injury, you yeah, just. Yeah, like, he was hurt. He yeah. was hurt, yeah. He stood up, tried to stand up, like, started falling again. Collapsed. Grabbed the bench, you know, like, the, where you sit on. Yeah. It's just like an aluminium tin bench. Yeah. And he slammed it with his hands. He's like, fuck! And he's, like, collapsed again. They teched him for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they teched him. Dude, it sounds like a joke already. Dude, like, we've all run over there, oh and we're like, God. fuck, man. Like, you know, don't move. Don't take the shoe off. You know, like, you know, yeah. the ref supervisor has come over because he was sitting there watching it. He's come over, and he's just gone, I need you to calm down. You know, are you going to get uh, reported? He's looking at him, like, incredulously, like, what the fuck? Like... I, like the guy was going white, like he was in so much pain, man. Yeah, he was probably expecting someone to come, someone to come over and lend a hand, not say like your tech foul. Dude, fucking calm down, dude. He was like, need to calm down. Dude, what do you want us to? Do? What do you? Yeah, and he's like, fuck. Like he was like, calm down. Are you gonna be? He's like, tell me. He's just looking at him. He's looking at me. Like he was looking at me. Like I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Like get get him away from me. Yeah. I'm looking at him like, mate. Are you for real? Like, are you serious? Like, get an ambulance. Like, what are you doing? Like, where's the first oh, aid? My God. Right. He's like, well, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to call an ambulance? He's like, yes, call me an ambulance. If like, you're the ref assistant, call dude, the fucking ambulance. Dude, and he was just like, yes, just call an ambulance. He's like, just calm down, mate. Not going to get anywhere. Like, I'm like, are you out of your mind? He's just busted his ankle. Pain, right? We've turned around, and we've all, at this point, all our team has come over, right? And we're just around him. And like, he's like, fuck, man. Like, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I've done something bad, right? At that point, we turn around. Dude, Jose's taking his shoes off. Like, he's sitting on the bench, like, you know, he's like, fuck this, you know? We're all, like, getting dressed down. Refs have said, we said, call the game. Okay, we're out, right? Forfeit. We're done. Okay, we can't. Like, at that, like, we're done. They forced us to play on. They said, not, nah, you need to finish the game off. Or you get, won't let, get let play it again? Yeah. Like, is that the kind like, of thing? That, like, that's the... it. No, you're forcing, we're forcing you to keep playing. We're not going to keep playing. Okay, the guy's dead. Like, no. <laughs> okay, no, you need to be on that court. I go, well, fucking start the time then. I go, keep giving us violations. I don't give a shit. Run the clock out. You know, keep taking us for, you know, holding the ball 30 seconds, whatever you want to do. Yeah. No, you're going to get there and you're going to play. I'm like, are you out of your mind? I'm not going to leave my mate here lying on the ground. Like, couldn't move. You know what I mean? Dude, what the fuck? Dude, listen, it, it gets hilarious. better. It gets better. 
it gets better, man. No, yeah, you get on the call. I'm looking at Eddie. I'm like, dude, I go, I don't want to fucking leave you, man. He's like, just do it, man. He's going to just keep violating it. Like, you're just going to keep finding it. Like, you got to do it. Just don't worry about it. Just do it. Jose's looking at me. He's like, what the fuck, man? He's like putting his shoes back on. The rookie stood up. He said, look, I'm not going to leave him. Yeah. I said, I'll stay here with him until the ambulance you comes. Guys play. You guys go. So we're down to four players. Four players. So with Eddie gone, we were at five. The captain said, I'm going to stay with him. Yeah, yeah. So we're down to four. We keep playing. Meanwhile, before we're about to leave, one of the the girls comes past. She goes, before you go, you might want to cover him. He's going to get cold pretty quickly. <laughs> really? <laughs> that oh, that yeah. was it. I swear to God. We get to the court. We get to the court. The whole time, we're just standing. Like, man, we don't want to play. We don't want to be here. We want to, we, we want to call the game. Let us just call the Forfeit. game. Forfeit? Yeah. Like, whatever. Like, the, the guy's on the ground. I have to stand there and watch... Like, I, I refused to play, basically. I just stood there with my hands behind my back because I couldn't foul. You know, so I couldn't defend. So I'm just standing there, just whatever. Right? <laughs> Man. I'm looking back every two seconds. I'm looking back at Eddie on the ground, like 50 meters away on In the pain. cold... Yeah, on the cold concrete by himself. Because Tommy went to the front of the stadium to wait for the ambulance. You know? Jesus so this guy's just lying there on his own. Eventually, I get teched out. I'm like, you're all fucked. I walk over to Eddie. I'm like, fuck it. Like, at least I'm out of the game. I can sit here with a guy. I'm d- like, I'm just, I'm they're standing there. Three I'm like, players. Dude. Yeah, they're down to three players. Jose, dude, the shortest guy on the dude, fucking court. I'm standing there with Eddie. Supervisor comes over. He goes, you need to leave the building. Okay, excuse me. You've been ejected. You need to leave the premises. I go, I'm out of the game. I took my shirt off at that point before that as I was walking off. I'm like, mm. yeah, shirt's off. I'm not playing. I go, I'm here with my, I go, the guy is waiting for it. It's been like half an hour. The guy's waiting for an ambulance. I go, I'm here with him. You need to leave. You've been told to fucking leave. You're going to be re- re- reported. Are you out of your mind? Like, oh what are you talking God. about? <laughs> Dude, this is Dude, like... it gets better. Better. I, I look at Eddie. I go, mate, I go, okay, I'm not leaving you, man. He goes, you've been forced. He goes, I know you're not leaving me. You've been forced to get thrown out. They're going to fucking fine you. Just go, dude. He goes, trust me, just go. Fuck them. He goes, they're in it at this point. Don't even worry. Just go. I go, mate, I don't want to fucking leave you. He goes, no, just go. Oh, my God. I've just looked at him. I was blasting this dude the entire time when I was walking out. I said, what's your name? Stephen. I go, what's your last name? Why? I go, because if there's an incident report about what happened tonight, I want to know all the individuals here. The court, uh, the the, the, refer- yeah. the the officials, the, the, the game officials, the, t- the players, everything. We need this information, mate, whether it's for insurance yeah. or for anything else. That'll all be at the front. It'll be there. Don't worry about it. We've taken care of it. I'm like, all right. So I went to the front, asked the girl... Hey, can I get a list of the team officials and the things? She goes, I don't, I don't really know what you're talking about. I said, so I asked her again, explain. I go, listen, I just want to. So she gave me her name, gave me his name. Yeah. And I said, yeah, that's enough. Don't worry about it. And I, and I, I left. I go outside. Dude, Jose got fouled out at that point as well. So down to two. So they're down to two men. I didn't even see, like, because Jose's walked over halfway through while I'm arguing with the thing. He's like, dude, I'm out as well. <laughs> Six fouls. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. We've walked outside. The rookie's outside just waiting for the, the cab, uh, the, the Ambo. We're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Eventually, everyone starts pouring out of the stadium, right? The, the opposing team, the officials. And we're still waiting for this Ambo that never rocked up, right? And we're, I'm just losing it. I'm like, fuck this. This is a joke, right? Eventually, Eddie's wheeling himself out in a wheelchair. He's pushing himself like, out. Fuck this. Right? He's pushing himself out. I go, what the fuck? Because, <laughs> man, they, they're booting me out. They all want to leave. I couldn't lie there anymore. They, they booted me out. I've got to wait out here for the ambulance. So it's past like half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah? What kind of organization We is lost this, that man? game. We lost that game by one point. <laughs> oh, man, I was expecting a while. <laughs> With two players left on the court, we lost the game by one point on the last shot of the game. And then Lopesy was telling me, you know what he said to me? Because it was disgusting. Because, man, no with two players, with two players left, there was like, they had the ball. And so, like, he had like three players guarding him because there was no one else to pass to. And they were like literally climbing on him. And he's like literally stopped and pushed one of them off. Like, fuck off, man. Did he get a foul? I don't know. <laughs> but man, they scored that one point. They started cheering. They started cheering when they scored that last point. Oh they beat God. a team of two men by one point and started cheering like they'd won the flag. You should have organized. When I was walking off, I was, yeah, I was losing it at their bench saying, are you, cunts, okay, are you, are you proud of yourselves? Are you happy with yourselves? You're a joke. This is how you want to win? How can you even look? Oh, it's the rules. Okay, fuck your rules. You're all a joke. You're all sad. All of yous. Would you, all have, of che- yous. Would you have been cheering? 
That's a, that's a pretty <laughs> Dude, shit situation. Like, two players... It, it sounds like they were just out to get you from the start. Yeah, like, they didn't like the look okay, at you or whatever. the thing. Eddie's outside, right? Yeah. We're still waiting for this ambulance. He's got a broken ankle finally, wherever he's right. Like that, <laughs> bone sticking out. That <laughs> supervisor finally comes out, right? And he starts trying to have a word, and I shut the cunt up. We finally see an ambo coming in. It gets into the car park, does a U-turn, and leaves. And we're like, what the hell? And then he's on the phone with emergency, right? And they say, oh, someone just had cardiac arrest or something, so they've had to go get him first. Priority. Yours isn't a priority situation. Dude, the ambos on the phone were telling Eddie that they had been calling the uh, stadium to get, like, details or something. They'd been calling him for, like, 20 minutes, and no one was answering the phone. God. (laughs) Yeah, right? (sighs) Yeah, I'm serious. So Uh, what happened? Eddie, hey, we had to call our own ambulance for, for the guy, and then he had to wheel himself out. Okay, and this is when I cracked it. This is when I fucking lost it because that supervisor tried to have a word. Mm. Said, "Nah, fuck this." I, I just went into it. all out a district attorney mode. You know what I mean? Everyone just went quiet. You listen here, mate. I go biased, refing aside. You know, call us. You know, unsportsmanlike. Call us whatever you want. They put all, throw that all out the window. I go, fine. You can have every penny of that if yeah. you want. I don't give a shit. But let's see one thing straight. A man gets cops a debilitating injury. He's on the ground, can't move. You tech foul him for being aggressive because he's in pain. His team opt to forfeit the game. You force them to play on. They're down to three men, four men, three men, two men. Number one, a basketball game would never go past no. three men no. on the court. If the game's forfeited straight away. Exactly. Once it's unplayable. That's it's it. unplayable past the point of four men. That's right. You force them. Okay, you humiliated a team. You drag them through the... You force them... To, okay, if a, if a boxer... Is knocked out in the tenth round. You don't wave him on to the twelfth round bell. You don't. Okay, you 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 don't get him back up on his you feet. You demoralised him. Come on. You humiliated us. You you decimated. Uh, you took a humiliated team, and decimated all through the last the two quarter, halves, man. Because that's unheard of. Okay, this man had to call his own ambulance and then push himself out of a court in a wheelchair, and you're forcing him to sit in the car park now. Oh my god. There's been no duty of care shown, no empathy, not even on a human level. I go, if a team called up 20 minutes before the game and said, we have to forfeit, we don't have enough players, you would forfeit the game, give the yeah, yeah. points to the other yeah. team, and we'd probably have to pay for that, that yeah. game either yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. That's, normal. So, yeah, it's normal. that's normal. If we do that when we're here, you, you forced us to play on. It's fucking unheard of, mate. Okay, that's disgusting in every mate, element. I'd start a team in Oakley. Dude, he went quiet. <laughs> he went quiet. Okay, what's your what's your response to that? He didn't have anything to say. Of course he didn't. He's just looking at the ground. Because he <laughs> fucking kicking his toes. <laughs> and then yeah. And then he's like, oh like he started saying something. Okay, don't worry, Stevie. Okay, I got uh Elisa's number inside as well and your details. Okay, next time you see us we'll be wearing suits, having a nice long chat. He just went quiet, scuttled away into the into the stadium into the and locked night. up. Yeah. <laughs> Literally disappeared. <laughs> Oh, and they needed their wheelchair back. So we had the wheel edit to his car. And bring it back. <laughs> and then give it back. I'm not even joking, man. I've, I've actually never, ever heard of Have you ever heard of that like shit that. before, man? Uh, it sounds not fucked that up, bad, dude. man. Not but that bad. I was thinking as you were talking, and I'm like, uh, like, because I used to play <laughs> basketball in that Knox area, like, I'm thinking of the families, and they are that sort of... Not close-knit. Or, like, you know, like, very Cheats. white, like... Um, Sort of like a little bit upper up middle class, like, yeah. you know, like, don't want the riffraff, like you that see- type. Like, yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, I'm, dude. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Eddie, <sighs> Eddie made note of it. He's like, that supervising cunt, because he had a go at him about it when we were in the car park. He came over 20 minutes before the game started just to watch us. We were just sitting there, just getting dressed, like changing shoes, see, talking. There you go. Comes yeah. over to me, he says, take your piercings out. I'm like, what? He's like, take all your piercings out, take everything. I'm like, all right, mate. I'm like, I'm not 16. I'm like, okay, I will. Calm down. All right, he goes, that cunt was there 20 minutes beforehand watching us, and he was only watching our game. And he said it to him in the car, he goes, why were you there watching our game? I'm the ref- referee supervisor. He goes, yeah, but there were two other games well into, like, gameplay before we'd even yeah. started. You weren't watching them. Had to do for you from the word go. Because I was supervising all... Co- How can you supervise court one when you're sitting at the watching bench on court changed. three watching me get changed? Yeah. Are you joking? You weren't uh. supervising anyone. You're watching us. Are you guys going to report them? Well, that's what I said. I go, I refuse to play out of principle. I refuse to play again until Eddie at least gets an apology. It's dangerous. It's duty of care. Um, unless there. he gets an apology on what happened and an explanation and an external review, I refuse to play. Absolutely. Dude, yeah. you should just go and start it up one up in Oakley. Like we, uh, all the leagues. And that's the other thing. All the leagues had already started. They're halfway oh, through yeah. the seasons. Yeah. This mob, 
Let us come in halfway through the season to play two games at one stadium and then change nights after the new year. Mm. That's fucked. Money. They just wanted money. Mm. Poor Eddie, man. Fuck. Dude, you know what happened to him? Ruptured Achilles. Oh, jeez. He's out for six weeks. Oh, Achilles, man. That is six the worst. Weeks. He, he him, won't be at work, right? I was with no, him at no Dandy way. Hospital to 1am. And then Dude, he was going in for x-rays. Achilles is fucked. Dude, six weeks. I was there till 1 a.m. at Dandy Hospital until they moved him to put him in for x-rays, and he just said, dude, just go, because I'm going to be here all night. Yeah. Holy the shit. The guy had a ruptured Achilles and got angry about it. And got and te- they te- te- <laughs> <laughs> That's unheard of. Thank you. You cannot walk on a fucking ruptured Achilles. Thank you. It wasn't me overreacting. It no. wasn't us acting. Dude, have you ever... What? Have you heard anything normal about any of that? Dude. If you aren't overreacting and you're telling it exactly how it was... I'm, t- I'm telling you. That's fucked up. Dude, I don't embellish stories, man. This is legit. No, that nah. is not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's, not right. that's just, not right. Hashtag that's not right. Hashtag that's not right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like they saw you coming in. They're like, we don't like you a card around here. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it did. Think about it, man. They saw they saw a couple of wogs, an Asian kid. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's it. This is white town. Yeah. Yeah. It was incredible. Dude. <laughs> so, you guys, like, what's going to happen? Like, you're just not going to play Look, again? Everyone, all the boys... There was a thing saying, look, it's unfair to m- not let everyone play because of what's happened. It's it's a shitty situation, but at the same time, I, I was adamant. I'm not playing like, fuck that, right? Yeah. Then the rookie said to me, and so did Victor as well. They said, look, we've paid our fucking dues. We've organized this thing just because of their shit refing and yeah. shit thing. Why should we not actually play? If you, you cop it again. They said, you, follow it up. Will you be going back to that stadium each week or is it like... It's a, two different ones. Two different this ones. week, we've got different refs at a different stadium and that's what they said. But it's in Knox as well? Yeah. Yeah. They said, look, file a <laughs> report. Like, uh, file a Same report. File a report. See what you can get. Yeah. See what can. And if they tell you to go fuck yourself, then we'll pull out like completely. Yeah. yeah. But why should we not play yeah. just because of their fucked up refs? Like fuck them, man. Have you they, ever heard of that in any sport ever? You know. You know. Eddie could take legal action, right? Yeah. Like, no duty of care was shown. Um. The ambulance didn't rock up because they. Yeah, were not they didn't answer their the phone. calls. Um. He's on the ground. Did they give him any medical attention? Nothing. As in, no blanket. They blank- tagged him. They tagged him. Legally. But that's what I'm saying. Like, he's, he's going to get cold. Well, get him a blanket. Get legally, him something. Legally, the first person to the scene needs to be there from start to finish because they've witnessed everything from yeah. the start. They're the earliest first aid. First point first, of contact. First kind of point thing. of contact. Yeah. They need to be there. <laughs> he was lying there on the concrete by himself. We were forced to play on. Tommy was out the front waiting for the ambulance. How- he- you know what? He should sue, right? Even just for at least loss of wages for work yeah. and um, negligence. Should it, it should have been all right. This guy's clearly injured. He's a big dude. He's in pain. We're gonna we're gonna stop the game, guys. Fucking everyone, sit down. We'll call an ambulance. Like that's how it should have gone down. Did. That's how it should have gone they down. Said they read your text and you have to get back on the. They fucking restarted court. the game with ten minutes to go because the clock had been running the entire time. And like, she was like, "Why are you starting at ten minutes? That's what's been decided." But it was well more than ten minutes. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, and the th- the saddest part was the other team. Where I didn't see this because I was outside. The other team cheered like they'd won the flag at the at the buzzer because they won by one point in the last four seconds. Probably a good thing you didn't see that. You might have snapped. I, that that might have yeah, I reckon you would have snapped and started going somewhere. That would have been the straw that You cunts are sad, sad. Johnny would have cheered. Dude, on Monday, we played, <laughs> no, we played futsal, dude. Change, Indoor change. on Monday. Yeah. We won like 15, 16 goals to like five or something, but yeah. they had one less player on the court. Yeah. So it was like, all right. And, well, I, and I said, guys, you got, you got someone coming in? Like, what the hell? Like, yeah. the entire game, like, man, you got someone coming in? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, oh, man, hopefully he comes again. Man, that's not, okay, you can't play this in this summer, like, with yeah. no subs and one less player, man. This is, we were just taking the piss. We were just, you know. Yeah, but it wasn't like you cheered. Like, yeah, we weren't going like, hard. We weren't. Dim scored six. They cheered him off. Like yeah. They, they him off. Yeah. 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 I scored like, Yeah, like, <laughs> 15 to 5. I kicked, I think I kicked four, five goals, man. I didn't, I think I celebrated yeah. one because it was actually a ripper goal. Yeah, but like, you didn't. But we like, didn't, like, run in there standing over him. Ah, cop that. And then after, like, shook your hands, like, yeah. Hey, man, we all bro. shook hands, like, ah, yeah. oh, you know. But to cheer when you've just beaten a team with two people on the court. <laughs> yeah. I'd feel like an absolute cocksucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be cheering. I'd be oh, like, dude, good game, I've, guys. Sorry I've that played, happened. I've like, played professional basketball like for Waverley and stuff yeah. like that. Never, ever, ever heard... When someone goes down injured, that, the game yeah. stops. Yeah. They get medical attention. Get sorted out. Get sorted out. Get him to the bench. Help the guy to the bench. See what's wrong. The ref will not continue. Because if it's a serious injury, 
the ref will not continue until he has received like an ambulance yeah, or medical attention or something. In, yeah, dude, we had to call. That's his own how ambulance. it was playing for Waverley, man. Like, it was, he had down. to call his own ambulance. Dude, that I've, I've never heard of it. I, I know. I, look, I'm sorry if I've dragged on about it, but I had to say it because it's been no, killing me for a honestly, week, man. Honestly, I've never ever heard of Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. And getting you. teched because you're injured. Yeah. And yeah. cracking the shits. That's insane. Yeah, thank dude, you. It's on record dude, now. And I can com- just send a link to the fucking dude, Knox basketballs. When, like, when Com was playing um, Melbourne Tigers under-19s, right? They had injuries and stuff. And that was so professional because it was like, but that's how it should be in every league. Shouldn't matter, yeah. Shouldn't matter. Injured. That to force the other team to go back on the court while he waits outside. And like, two people. Says, you don't play with two people. It's a forfeit. In soccer, if you go down to, is it eight men or something or seven? Seven, I think. Game stops. That's yeah. 11 people. With five people on the court, if it gets down to like three or less, finish. That's it. Yeah. Done. And you've got no subs. Like, what are you going to do? No. That is the worst thing I've ever heard of. I can't make this up. I'm going to write them a very forceful letter. Dude, I couldn't, I couldn't make this up. <laughs> yeah, that's... I couldn't make it up. <sighs> that's not I know. right. Thank you. I had to get it off my chest. Poor Eddie, man. I know. Poor is Eddie that really big solid dude? He wears a hat? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know the guy now. Dude, six weeks. And he would have jumped on his... He would have ruptured... Because he's a big... If he, yeah, if he's, he's, massive, dude, he's massive. Oh, yeah, then he would have felt the weight yeah. fall down on his fucking leg. Nah, man, that's not right. Rush should Achilles. They tech fouled him. <laughs> he, he should. He, they teched him. You know what? He should sue for negligence yeah. and at least get loss of wages for work. That's because, not right. No, because they could. He could have said it could have been. Could have been a lot worse. Like, yeah. What if it was bleeding internally? Exactly. And waited what half an hour, forty-five. Yeah, that would have finished him. Dude, they, he wheeled himself out. He didn't even get pushed out. He, got, he wheeled himself <laughs> out with a ruptured, with with no pain relief. Nothing. Nah. So he's he would have gone into shock, like as in yeah. because his legs would have been all fucked up. Yeah, and they were telling him to calm down, otherwise he'd be reported. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's fucked I'm up. I'm in shock now because I've never heard of that. That's not right. <laughs> and that man, that really aggravates me because it turned me off playing again, got yeah. competitive. Someone should have thrown a ball into that guy's face. Did, man. Oh, I was yeah, so angry, really close. Man. Yeah, it's really close. I just cracked him in the back of the head. So angry, man. That's no, that's not right. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. That's, I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds like yeah. a horrible night. Yeah. So, but n- this game around, you'll play in a different stadium, different refs. We'll see what happens. Yeah. If you cop but, it again, man, that kind I, of ref, I think of that crap, man. And I think about like all the sporting leagues around Melbourne, like you know Australia, whatever. Yeah. How they're watering everything down. Yeah. No, no cheering. No, 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 no fucking keeping score. Yeah, that's you know that what I mean? thing with the under twelve. Dude, would uh, you put your little girl in a like if she wanted to play netball or soccer, or whatever? Would you put her in a thing where there was no score? No. Seriously. Johnny would be the dad yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, dude, His missus would be like, calm the down. The point is to like exceed something, work together as a team and win. Like, yeah. What's like the point? Said, like we said last time on an uh, older podcast, the kid is like, is going to get older. He's not going to know what failure feels. As in, like, not failure to an extent. But, but just to, yeah. Because when you lose, like, say you lose a game, it forces you to become better. Character building as well. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, forced to reflect. What can we do better to win this game? Exactly. But the scary part was the team that we were playing, they weren't necessarily young. They were dudes like older than me. Yeah. But they were like clapping and cheering every time they got a point. Yeah. When I got teched out, I'm just looking at their bench and these schmucks have got their arms crossed like smirking. What are you smirking at, idiot? I'll fucking bury you. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, you just, just feel like the biggest cockhead if it was one of those guys. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Like this is how you take a win? Entitled. Entitled people, man. Dude. Come on, man. Yuck, dude. Oh. Yeah. Just... Uh, well, no, what have no, we come to? We're no. douchebags like that. But even that. on the human level, like you said. On a human level. Just, hey, this guy's actually really injured. Like, we should really help him. Like, none of them, none of their players ran over to see what had happened. They were just taking layups in their side of the court. Well, they were Dude, I, I know those basketball runners. type kids yeah, in that man. area. They're the entitled, the entitled kids. Like, they're... Yeah, Dude, I know, I've been I know. playing against teams where someone will blow out a knee or something. I've fucking run over. I'm yeah. the first person there. Because you're just on the field. Dude, you're, in footy. In football. If a kid does his knee or a shoulder, the game stops. A few of the boys runs over. Shit, man, are you all right? I've seen, like, I, I remember this one, this kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of our big dudes tipping shoulder him. It was a small dude. Like, it wasn't small, but it was, you know. And I swear to God, he dislocated his shoulder and broke his collarbone at the same time. Ooh. Right? Oh. We're talking, this kid copped it on the right. But our team ran over. Like, our, our team were the first point. Like, because we heard it. Like, oh, shit. And we were calling over the stretcher, like, fuck, man, get this kid something, get the doctors on. Yeah. That's what you do, because the kid, obviously, in pain, the kid was crying, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine dislocating your shoulder and, and cracking and your collarbone. The, the double whammy. Yeah. 
gone. <laughs> like, and the guy that did it felt so bad, man. Actually walked off with him with the stretcher and everything to make sure he was all right. That's how it should be. That's normal. Man, it's just made, normal <laughs> shit. It made me laugh, man. But one of the refs, now I'm thinking about it, actually making me laugh. She was probably like maybe 18. Maybe. 17, like maybe. Yeah. Only reason I'm saying 18 is because <laughs> when I was on the scoreboard, <laughs> when, I, when I was on the scoreboard, <laughs> no, no, when, when, I was, <laughs> when I was working the scoreboard, dude, um, the girl sitting next to me, she was like either jotting down the, the yeah. numbers, you know, for the game. Just drawing love like, hearts on her paper. Yeah, like, <laughs> the girl next to me, yeah, she was young. She was wearing like a school blazer, no, you know, like yeah. braces. She was young. And then I asked her, how do you work the scoreboard? Because I've never done it. So she was like showing me. And I was just cracking jokes because I was fucking it up. And she's like, ah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. And I was just making yeah. bad jokes because I was watching the game. And I'm like, this is a joke. Dim's team, 130 points. Yeah. So it, was a, it was just a joke. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, I'm cracking bad jokes. And she's like laughing, whatever. Yeah. The ref I only saw her at the end again after I got teched out. And we're outside. She walked out with the girl from the scoreboard as well. Yeah. And when I saw the girl from the scoreboard, I'm like, hey, okay, thanks for helping me out with that scoreboard. I've got a skill for life now. She's like, oh, she was laughing. But the other one, I'm guessing they were sisters, yeah. had her head down, like just quickly shuffling out as silently <coughs> as she could. And I'm only realizing she's probably 18 and driving and she drove him there. Yeah, 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 yeah. walking yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Dude, so she would have been like 18. She's like in my face, like, I didn't come here to listen to swearing. The rules are you, you have to leave. I'm like, oh. who are you, man? Have you ever paid a, a tax bill in your well, life? Listen here, Bethany. Yeah. <laughs> dude, seriously. Beth? No, that's the kind of names around dude, here, isn't I it? I always respect. It is, isn't it? Bethany. It On is, the isn't money. It? On the money. <laughs> Louisa. You yeah, know what I mean? Something fucking. I always Bethany respect Smith. referees. If, you know, they're impartial. The ref's Queen word. The, the ref, the umpire, their word is final. But just getting a finger in my face. Yeah. Like, you've been told once. From some. Yeah. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Did we just hit butt? Just what have I done? I'm surprised you didn't swing at someone, what dude. What have I done? Everything you popped in that you night, know what I'm you surprised. Did? You were ethnic. I couldn't handle it, man. That was ethnic. Shit. Victor nailed it on the head. He's like, dude, they're all white. Like, yeah, he's like, man, let's get to the school and have some shots, man. We're going to play. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Actually, you want to see something incredible? Yes. Come down on Mondays. Zip. <laughs> come down. <laughs> just <laughs> come down. <sighs> come down on Monday to because? Noble Park. Yeah. Noble Park Dandy. Uh, Noble Park Basketball, the community centre. It's all Africans, Sudanese, like all Dude, Africans. Dude, they can ball, man. Dude, this kid, we were watching the game yesterday, right, when we sort of came yeah. off and they all got involved. This kid dunked on another kid on the run. The guy's like 16. Dumped, yeah, nah. like, slew you know down, like got, Sean Kemp. Just, ah! Dude, they've got the height, man. They've got, got, they got them fast twitch muscles. <laughs> I was just watching that, and I'm like, yeah. why are we watching the NBL, man, yeah. when you've got this shit going There's on? There's like, actually Ooh. a Sudanese kid playing for Mil- yeah. Fond Maker. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. that kid can play, man. Yeah, man. And there's the other Greek guy that's um, yeah. every, uh, Yanis Unumbungo. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, I swear that's his dude, name. Dude, he's a Greek national, <laughs> yeah. but he's black. Oh, so he's yeah, mixed. But his yeah. parents yeah. gave him a Greek name, Yanis. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Greek but, national, man. He's, he's got black. 30 points yesterday. Yeah, guy kills it. Yeah, my cousin interviewed him when he first hit yeah, the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's mad. It's insane. Milwaukee's got a good young team. Yeah. They're inconsistent, but yeah, man, fond maker. That kid's going to... He's Australian. He's on. I'll check him out. There you go, yeah. I put up a post the other day, right? There was a teacher arrested. This is in South Day, like in the States. Teacher arrested for reportedly having an inappropriate relationship with a student. Look at this dude. Yeah? Look at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, like, Eric, uh, John Bonet looking motherfucker. Yeah. Okay? All the comments in the thing, all these women, like, listen to this shit, right? I would have been happy with a hit it and quit it from this teacher. Uh, you know, shit who wouldn't. Um, yeah, that's... Like, just hot, like, love hearts. Like, uh, Jesus, like la 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 la. Yeah, what if he was, dude? Yeah. And my comment, my comment. He's a pedophile. Congratulations, ladies. You'd hook up with a pedophile. Yeah. Well done. You fucking morons. But again, it's it's it shows how. This is biased. what's the word? Superficial. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what if he was a fat, overweight teacher, bald with glasses? Oh, yeah, they'd be asking you head on a stake. Because straight pedophile head on, on a sex registry. Yeah, don't put him near our kids. Picket boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lobbying, like yeah. that criminal. Like that dude that got busted for like uh, assault. And the te- and robbery and they made yes. him a model. They made him a model. We got a, a Calvin Klein fucking contract. He's like, oh jeez, what a hot cut. The dude is a convicted felon for like drugs, attempted robbery, and assault. Yeah. Oh, he's so hot. Like you're a fucking idiot. Yep. See, and then man, go. I'll bring this is my last. I'll make this my last point because it's twelve o'clock. Right. This guy's got a boot soon. All right. This is what I, I was watching. Um, I was at home yesterday before I went to the gym last night, just flicking around on on TV, and that fucking movie came up. Man, it was called uh, The Heat. Have you seen it? No. 
with Sandra Bullock and um, I've, s- I've seen the cover of it because it's, it's got what's that, the name nineties uh, uh, McCarthy cover. something McCarthy Jenna McCarthy no 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 it? M, it starts with M uh, Melissa yeah, she, Melissa McCarthy oh from um. Is it Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, 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 it is. She's got that TV show. Uh, uh, Mike and Molly. Mike and Molly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Melissa right? McCarthy, yeah. Have you ever seen that movie? It's been on TV like five times in the last three weeks. I know she gets banged in it. <laughs> does she? Uh, Sandra Bullock in a tent or something, I think. No, oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Of course she, you, she, of course course you know that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sandra Bullock <laughs> plays the same character she plays in like Miss Congeniality Actually, and all other movies. Actually, I'm thinking movies. Movie. Sorry, okay. sorry. Dude. Sandra Bullock does a typical thing. One's like an a, a FBI and the other one's just yeah, like yeah, a, a It's a recent cop. movie. I'm thinking of Yeah, like movie. a Boston yeah, yeah, yeah. beat he, cop, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Melissa McCarthy plays the standard, like, you know, chunky chick, like all yeah, full yeah, of fucking yeah, yeah. sass and blah, 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 blah. Right? Standards. Okay? This is what pissed me off about the movie. Okay? They play, like, one's a cop, one's a FBI bird and they have to hook up and one's like uptight yeah. and by the book and the other one's not. Right? Dude, I'm just watching it. The Melissa McCarthy character, right? The, the Boston, cop yeah, the Boston cop, right? Dude, she's got like a small arsenal of weapons in her house: grenades, knuckle dusters. As you do, she's a beat cop. She's a cop, but it's okay for her to have like all this arsenal of illegal shit, right? She's on the street and she's yelling at a dude to like. She jumps out of a car. She's like, you know, freeze, you know, like to some dude, and the guy just ignores her, doesn't hear her. So she runs up to him and just punches him in the face. Drops him and starts yelling at him. <laughs> then it shows her and like Sandra Bullock like busting up drug dealers, uh, like literally just kicking doors down, uh, like with dude, with illegal weapons. I'm like man, do you think a guy would be able to get away with a movie like that? No way. No, 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 no. Every guy movie, every buddy cop film with with dudes, like they always it's like <clears throat> turn in your piece. That's an illegal piece. But they make such yeah. a big deal. And they make about, it dark. They yeah. make it really dark. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This bitch, yeah, like, does whatever like, she wants. Punching the shit out of random bystanders, and does, mm. and that's fine. It's cute. It's, it's kitschy, hilarious. It's, it's funny. funny. It's like, yeah. Fuck off, man. Uh, she, ju- funny. she just broke his nose. How cute. <laughs> it's yeah. not yeah. funny because the same situation. If it was dude, they never it. get away with that no. shit, no. man. Yeah, great point, dude. Yeah. And that pisses me off, man. Mm. Well, I'm not like I'm. Forget the writer. Forget the actors. Like, yeah. fair, like it's not Melissa McCarthy's fault. It's not Sandra Bullock. That's the that's the cast. That's the script. That's the production. They get paid. Blah 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 blah. Right? They 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 turn up. They do the job. But the writers, to be able to get away with that shit and not be able to play it down the same way with dudes, man, forget it. Like like we said with the Ghostbusters yeah. movie, how all the critics panned it from the day dot, and yeah. like, this is sexism. It's like, no, it's just a shit fucking movie. Yeah. Mm. But then it's okay for Hemsworth to be the, the pin-up and make him unbelievably fucking stupid in that yeah. movie. Mm. Yeah, it's a great movie. Like, are you ready to... Mm-hmm. Oh, I know, I know. I mean, it's the trend lately. It's a lot of that. Like the emasculating of women, they can do what they want. The guys are just idiots, like yeah. stupid idiots, like in We're the background. Fucking fools, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man, it's a but trend. But if we say something, it's like, well, you can't say that. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. I, I, I couldn't. Like that. Just I was watching it for five minutes. I'm like, fuck this. I went to the gym with some smooth, sexy jazz. Yeah, the mood. I sparked a J. <laughs> 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 Cut the the hand lotion out <laughs> just to relax and unwind. Oh, man. All right, Joey's uh, got to go. It's Six past twelve. Got to go look after my little girl. Um, I was gonna say uh, today's what's the date today? The fifth, fourteenth. Fourteenth. Yeah. Uh, we got many episodes before the end of the year. We've got. Are we gonna do one next week? Next week should be our Christmas. Uh, Is next week our Christmas one? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, we'll be free next week. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure, make sure you wear your Christmas sweater. Jenny. A very right Christmas. Yeah. yeah thanks. It'll be next a very week. right Christmas. We'll project it from now. A very yeah. right Christmas will be next week. Yeah, it'll be <laughs> fantastic. We'll have some uh, some funny stuff on. So we'll. <laughs> Well, this guy rocks up with just a Christmas stocking. And a sweater. <laughs> just a piece of mistletoe. He gets you early. A piece of mistletoe. He's a piece of mistletoe hanging from my knob. <laughs> He's all the mistletoe is underneath it, like above him, like in that corner. I'm He's waiting. <laughs> Who's Hi, first? Boys. What the fuck? <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. He creeped from the <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, no, I think that's it, man. I'm going to sweat box out the next hour while I fucking edit this shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping his laptop here. Yeah? You can keep the delicious Mac. Yeah, he's, he's all over the PC still. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I, I, man, eat your fucking words. 31 episodes in and you've had to do a 180 completely. No, I wouldn't say 180 completely. Piss off. You haven't even and scratched this. You know what? In the old days when I used to have to take this laptop... 130, 130 degrees. When I had to take this laptop home, he'd message me, say, hey, dude, if you're going to be home later, I'll, I'll stop past because I'm going to be in the areas. Or blah, blah, blah. When you're working, when's your next shift? Nothing now. Like, we actually followed up, like, yeah. getting it back to him. Now, keep it. <laughs> that old <don't> thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still love my Mac. Uh, yeah, whatever, man. All right, All right Christmas cool. special next week. Done. Juke leverage out. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha